The business edition of 21 Minutes with KKB is proudly brought to you by MTN Business Broadband. First National Bank, Bank of the Changeables. The Mikes Electronics Company Limited, large and in charge, with quality but affordable home appliances and consumer electronics. Designed for the driven. So today, uh, we are at the office of Tony Senaya, Chief Executive Officer for Horseman Shoes. And in the next 21 minutes, you're going to have a very, very interesting conversation with him. Stay tuned. When we connect, everything is possible. Whatever seems unreachable becomes even closer. Building partnerships. Redefining the norms. Because when we connect, being there becomes possible and new ideas come to life. Stay ahead and stay connected with MTN Business Broadband, superior internet solutions that drive your dreams. Sign up today on broadband.mtn.com.gh or call or WhatsApp 0244-308-111. From weekend warrior to workhorse, when you get behind the wheel of the new MGZS. The luxurious sedan experience meets the rugged frontier spirit of the SUV. Indulgently generous interiors, hill start assist system for unwanted uphill traffic, and the touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay for easy mobile phone. Designed for the driven. As we look at this, all the challenges, all the things that perhaps uh, inhibits the progress of the young entrepreneur. Um, let's take a look at some of the other things. So one, you've spoken to us about attitude, mm -hmm. right? Um, you've given us a fair idea about the kinds of things we all need to subscribe to, how we all need to pay a lot of attention to our credibility mm -hmm. by being a lot more honest and the like. Um, what more do you think is like? And of course, I see it as a two-way thing though. So there's a lot that's expected of the entrepreneur there's a lot that is expected of the system also yeah. in a way to help mm -hmm. or the, to complement the efforts of the entrepreneur. So uh, what are the other things you think we should pay a bit more attention to? For me, um, I subscribe to everything that um, the entrepreneurs, the stories that you've heard. Yes, taxes. Um, I remember in his first um, budget to the nation, um, the finance minister, Ken, mentioned that they will set up um, a business advisory, mm -hmm. you know, um, secretariat mm. where businesses can walk in and seek advice on mm -hmm. registration, um, tax, mm. SNET, mm. all those stuff. Right. So when he said it, I said, ah, this guy has hit, ha has gotten it right because mm. these are the, the challenges affecting businesses. Yeah. Government always say that they would widen the tax net. You see, some small, some small businesses don't are not able to fulfill their tax obligation, not because it is deliberate. Mm. Honestly, some even don't know how to go about it. True. True. Some don't know how to go about the PE, the VAT, withholding tax and all that. Yeah. My, my even the calculation. Yeah, it's my auditor true. will tell me that, look, I shouldn't fret so much. Even established businesses don't know how to go about it. So I was hoping that he would implement this and get these guys young and instill that discipline in um, being, um, there's a word, in, in, in being compliant right mm -hmm. from the start. Mm -hmm. But um, like the politician, he, he just mentioned it. Oh, but but uh, I've seen a lot of changes at the Registrar General's department, for instance, and they offer a lot of advisory services. Yes, Registrar General is changing. When we started, it was hell. You would even mm. go to do... Even need a guru boy to register for you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's true. So so the, the, the bureaucracies and the, the government agencies, they can streamline their, their operations and also be friendly. Mm. When an entrepreneur here, a taxman, or GRE, they get angry because when you go to the, when you go to GRE offices, it's more like an intimidation. Then, mm. you know, um, why are you not that, that that? No, but see, understand these guys. They are the ones doing everything by themselves. So, even the time to sit down 
paying money is difficult. Of course. Paying money <laughs> is extremely. difficult. So if you don't co- if you don't coerce them in a nice way, then you, you lose these guys. The reason why is there's always the same people who be paying the taxes. And um finance minister again in one of his budgets said that um, business owners at below the age of thirty five would enjoy some tax rebate. Yeah. You go to GRE offices, they will tell you they don't know about it. Have you ever enjoyed any tax rebate? No, please. <laughs> none. 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 So these things, if we are not deliberate, um, we, we will stifle businesses. You see, this, we struggle to build a business and cross the five-year mark where businesses fail. Now, when you cross the five-year mark and you become self-aware of certain things, by the time you go back to GRE, you have accrued a lot of debt That's that true. you have to pay. Then that alone can even cripple the business. That's true. So if we are not so deliberate to handhold businesses to navigate these challenges, Look, we always come back in circles. So what about the incubator programs that sometimes are uh, out there to help businesses such as yours? Are you able to take advantage of some of them? Yes, I have been in a business accelerator program before. Okay. Between the period of 2014 and 2016, there are okay. about. Yeah. So yes, um, those are, they are good breeding grounds, you know. But it is not a guarantee that once you go through that system, mm. um, you will come out uh, successful. successful right. I, have, I was there with some businesses who have gone under, you know. So uh, it, it's a number of factors. Interesting. Um, again, I know the government is also doing quite a few things uh, through the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation mm-hmm. Program to help some of these young businesses. Um, is it that government is not doing enough or... Um, government is doing nothing at all. I, I, Governments because we hear a lot of things. So the government says, oh, we have done this, we have created this, we have... Or maybe, what is it? What am I missing? Governments, governments will always have programs. Mm. But my challenge is, and I've always mentioned this, that it is fragmented. Okay. You know, There's no plan. That is, that is from what I say, that is, what I, that is how I see it. That, um, we do bits and pieces here mm. and there, here and there. If it is well coordinated yeah. and we have a long term vision that right. this is where we want to go, so let's be deliberate about it. You have um, poultry farmers complaining that they don't, they don't, they don't have feed. Mm. You have um, textiles people complaining about um, imports, cheap imports, you know. So, what is the plan? We firefight it short term, then in the long term, the problem still persists. Mm. So there are a lot of government programs, but um, it is not well linked together. Right. What I want to see is um, a well-coordinated program because in we have a lot of opportunities in this country. True. A lot of opportunities, even in the in the shoes in the shoe making space, we have um, people coming from um, Liberia, Sierra Leone to come and buy from Ghana, and in the minds of these people, crafts craftsmanship in Ghana is top-notch. Yeah. So we can be deliberate about it mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. create the ecosystem for people to thrive and export shoes. Mm. If this is well coordinated, Ghana will become the hub of shoemaking in West Africa mm. because we even export skilled labor to South Africa. Some shoemakers will, through some connection men, struggle and go to South Africa and abandon Ghana because at a point when they, they will struggle and get to a point, then they plateau. Right. There are no opportunities for them. They cannot expand. Mm. Then they will leave. So government programs, there are a lot of them. But I would wish that it is well coordinated and thought through in the long term, mm. not those um, four term for votes. Stop no. up measures. Yeah, and, and even sometimes some of the programs you benefit depending on the time and place that you find yourself. Yeah. You know. So um, that is what that is one of the challenges that I have always had with um, the government um, interventions. Um, it is it is too short term. Would you say this frustration perhaps is the reason why you are so critical of governments every now and then? <laughs> is this a trick question? Oh, uh, I'm just asking. <laughs> well, um, I am one that um, look. We all want a working country. Mm. You know, we want. We all want. Um, You're passionate about Ghana. You want to see the country. I, I would say I used to because uh, you used to be passionate about. Yes, the I, I, I used to be oh, passionate. Um, that's a sad thing to hear. Um, Chen Chen, you see, sometimes you also need your 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 sanity. You know, mental health is real. And look, entrepreneurship is not a joke. So to also take up upon yourself the burden. The burdens of um, the country. Uh, no, but if you give up now, then we will never well, see I, the I, better I have, than that. I haven't given up. I will. <laughs> I will do the bit that I, I, I can do. But um, I am. 
I am. I, the I, passion I, is needed. I, I I am measured now. I I will focus my passion on somewhere else. Mm. Uh, maybe um, with my family, with my loved ones, <laughs> with my friends, with my with, with my workers. Yeah, but eventually, mm. um, we we cannot stop talking because we want a better country. You know, we are not asking that you put a million dollars in our pockets. Just make things work so all of us can live happily. And, um, and 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 enjoy enjoy the country, mm. you know. I mean, we have travelled, we have seen what is being done elsewhere, mm. and sometimes you ask yourself, ah, what uh, is this that we can't do back home? Mm. And we have people, the managers of the country, who are even well exposed than us. Mm. So you ask them, when do you go? What inspiration do they come back with? You know. So um, it's 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 sad. It's 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 heartbreaking that you have so much hope that yeah, you know, Ghana will break through. Ghana will break through. Ebefa, but, ebefa, ebefa. Mm. but you get there and pew, nothing happens. You know. So um, I, I I I I I am measured now. I'm in my corner doing my bit. When I die, I go. <laughs> <laughs> so you stop criticizing that means? Um, yes. I mean, to to what extent? Some say it. some say it's because you've been threatened. No, 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 no. You've I've never not, been threatened. I have not had. I have not had any threats. I mean, for the politicians, even mm -hmm. some, sometimes in their followers, they will come. They will, they will come attacking you once mm -hmm. you express your opinion. You know, and I did it with NDC. Oh, I am NPP, and when N NPP came, you say one thing. So you, you you did campaign against the former president on Twitter. I called, you seem to. No, I no. It wasn't a campaign. Okay, against, you I, you I, raised I, a lot I, of issues yes, at the time. I was, I was very I was very expressive mm. and. Um, and John, John, John is a good guy. See, before he mentioned me, they told him that chief, this guy has been criticizing. He said, no, he's okay. He's he's Ghanaian, you know. So he mentioned me in um, February. Yeah, the State of the Nation address. Yes. I remember very well. And then in July, first July, I went on a demonstration against him. <laughs> yes, and then, um, the party were very very angry. So um, mm. he he got in touch again and told me to stay away from. No, he said Tony. Our politics is so vicious. If you want to do business, stay away from politics. Mm. And uh, I, I was tired because this is a certain president who has worn your shoes, giving you an endorsement money cannot pay for. Mm. You went on a demonstration against him. He still, he still he's, called. Uh, yeah, he still called and and, and, and and gave me an advice. You know. So John Mahama himself called you yeah. and, and advised fact, he, you. Yeah, he was a someone. So I, I told someone about the situation. Oh no, okay, he will speak to him. So he was a the president. Then mm. yeah, we had there. He said no. He has seen the pictures and videos of me at the demonstration, but he would advise that um, I focus on my... Do you regret life. going for that demonstration? Do you regret yes, with essentially the, campaigning for change at the time? With the benefit of hindsight, I think that it was politically incorrect. Yes, so yes, um, I, 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 I do regret. And um, I, I also think that um, um, the, what the the convenience sold was a bit different on on the ground mm. it, it was like um, a Ghanaian thing but you when you got there you realized that it was an mpp thing well they was um, they were political actors <laughs> 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 let me put it that let me put it that way so today most of them who were the, some are, some are finance ministers some are gipc some are ministers some are mm. office of the president you know somehow and this is the occupy flag style yes, demonstration. demonstration yeah mm. yeah but um, for the principle for which I attended the demonstration, no, I have no regret because I that time we were facing hardship and all that. But um, beyond that, I think that it was politically incorrect. Yeah, I see. Have you seen or heard from John Arma again since yes. that time? Yeah, I saw him in November 2020 during the campaign. Um, okay, he met a group of young business, um, yeah, young business people. Did he urge you to vote for him this time around? Well, we had a conversation and he sold his policies and, um, yeah, I mean, for some reason, I even moderated a session, you know, oh, so, okay. yeah. Yeah, so. 2020? Yeah, 2020, yeah. Mm. Did you vote for him? So, I him So, I'm going to show you what I'm going to I see. Okay, uh, Alice, we'll, we'll, we'll let that question slide for now at least. But I think the laughter alone is enough for you to guess whether you voted for him or not. But you're still watching the business edition of 21 Minutes with KKB. Today, I'm with the Chief Executive Officer for Horseman Shoes, Tony Senaya.
When we connect, everything is possible. Whatever seems unreachable becomes even closer. Building partnerships. Redefining the norms. Because when we connect, being there becomes possible and new ideas come to life. Stay ahead and stay connected with MTN Business Broadband, superior internet solutions that drive your dreams. Sign up today on broadband.mtn.com.gh or call or WhatsApp 0244-308-111. From weekend warrior to workhorse, when you get behind the wheel of the new MGZS. The luxurious sedan experience meets the rugged frontier spirit of the SUV. Indulgently generous interiors, hill start assist system for unwanted uphill traffic, and the touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay for easy mobile phoning. Designed for the driven. Kajo, I wish you well on your new job and place. Be be fine. Grandpa. My grandson, I learned you are leaving your father's hacienda to go and increase your standard of living to an astronomical quotient. Just go quack over, bra. I believe that you are trying to bless him. This is my pneumatological abrasion from the Abinkunaburis to the eschatological divinity. I bought you this from the Makers Electronics Company Limited. Take it. Go forth and conquer. My son, when you receive your first salary, who next line of action? Make sure so we to the the Makers Electronics Company Limited. Ube wo the Makers Electronics Company Limited. Our Taifa Highway. Ube say wo mo. Ewo Amasa Manzongo Junction. Ashram Manso Omo Vako Flats. Kumasi. Ahini Makoko Bay. The Makers. Emma up to sixty-seven percent discount. Fred the Makers Electronics Company Limited. This year zero five five two 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 two. 253 and a 055 22 22 254. The can once is here the Makers Electronics Company Limited. The Makers Electronics Company Limited, large and in charge with quality but affordable home appliances and consumer electronics. Osman, let's come to your shoes. The shoes you do, um, it's it's sold quite well to be very honest with you. And I hear a lot of good reviews about it. Um, like you mentioned yourself, the former president gave you a mention in the State of the Nation address. And uh, I'm, I'm sure he even catapulted the brand some more. Oh, yeah. But a lot of people even so outside the country. So we'll be here, a truck driver will park and she says, ah, uh, they, they're walking. Postman and I'm on a new <laughs> shoe, so they want to see. OK. So around, that, around 2014, we had a collection called the Presidential Collection. So oh, okay. when they walked in and we showed the winner, John Mahama Oh, and, OK. You know, you go to, I mean, look, I have asked brand experts that if they were managing the former president, how much they would have charged. Nobody has been able to put a figure on it. Mm. That's because it, no, it was massive. So it gave us a, a huge brand mileage. How did you capitalize on that? Um, um, I mean, yes, sales. So, like I said, we had a presidential collection, you know, and uh, for a president to have mentioned you, it means that they, they would have also done their checks. So, of course, credibility. Of course. So, it, it gave me some credi um, credibility mm. currency. Mm. So, you go into international meetings, and before you walk into that meeting, they have done your, their checks, and mm. you know, so it clears all doubts yeah. that you know, the president wears this brand. So, I mean, this guy is, you know, so mm. um, it, 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 it did a lot of things, and uh, we are still. Um, um, reaping its benefits, mm. you know. So it was, it was. How massive. affordable are your shoes to the ordinary Ghanaian? Of course, today everybody is in chroma ishi. So, <laughs> <laughs> how can someone walk into uh, any of your shops and and uh, uh, you know, even in the hotness of the? Air? <laughs> so um, uh -huh. our shoes are very affordable. Mm. Very affordable in terms of um, what the quality the customer is buying. You know, we know when you see shoes. Italians, when you say quality shoes, yeah, it's yeah, Italian yeah. shoes. Right. Today, Italian shoes wouldn't cost less than 100 euro. 
and 100 euro is around 800 cities. Yeah. You know? seven, seven, yeah. Seven, seven, yeah. And even um, the second hand shoes that come from Europe, when you go to Cantaman, to a very good shoe, you'll be looking at around 156 to 200. And then we have the techies, the, the techie and then the mm. China shoes, mm. brand new, we'll be looking around 200 and 250. And these are made in Ghana, handmade quality shoes. We sell between 250 cities and 300 cities. So, I mean, people who know shoes, when we have had people come here and they are amazed mm. at the quality and the price for which we are selling the shoes. So, for. that's actually leading me to the next question I was going to ask. Um, do you make enough profit at all? Uh, so, it's, it's a numbers game. Okay, so um, I wouldn't say that our operations are so huge to churn out the, the numbers, mm. but we we are surviving. So now our next stage, before you even ask the question, mm. our next step is to expand production and go into like real mass production where we can make shoes and make some. Um, are you looking at partnerships in doing this? Yeah, or you we want are, to we, do we, it yourself. No, no, no. See, as you grow, you realize that you can't do all by yourself. Yeah. You know, so we are open to partnership in terms of. Um, investment in terms of even distribution so let's say so today uh, what's your capacity if you are to produce shoes let's say you, you are getting an order what's the limits that you can well, hit? depending on the time if you, if you give us four weeks we can give you like 400 pairs it, it, well it also depends on the design but yeah between 300 and 400 quality shoes so 400 pairs of shoes in a month mm -hmm. then some will say you are missing out on a lot though, because if you got an order for 5,000 shoes for say the prison service, how are you going to fulfill that? The challenge of most small scale Ghanaian businesses is the capacity. So even 5,000, but if government wants to build these capacities, it is solvable. So Horseman come, Adepa come, ZYZ, okay, put together maybe 10 companies and produce. No, so this is the thing. So let's mm -hmm. say hypothetically, of course, but let's say um, we are going into 2022 the government wants to um, get 20,000 shoes for all these persons we are recruiting into the security mm -hmm. agencies. Now, of the 20,000, Horseman, I need you to take charge of 5,000 of them. We need them in two months. No. Then again, it will, it will come back to what I said, that government must be deliberate. In but it's a deliberate yeah, thing. It's deliberate, but... So, see, because they are sourcing everything from within, locally, mm -hmm. and your local company doing so well, they want to give you such contracts so you'll be able to expand even more. It's good. So you put together a consortium. Say, not only horseman shoes, but all the satellites and remote and other small shoemakers. We need this amount of shoes. Would you be able to produce for us? Yes. Let's give you time. Let's what would you require in order to satisfy that demand? 5,000 pairs. People. So, so if, people. Yes. In so doing, you also create employment. Are you open to having some of these people come on so let's say someone with a, uh, a background in mass communication says yeah much as i've studied mass communication i feel strongly that i want to understudy um tony um are you open to such yeah, things we are open to it we people come in and they leave all the time um we even have a program with knust okay as part of the academic work the students come on internship mm for 10 weeks every when, when we are planning our year right. because um, when they come we train them and they also help you know, sure. in, in, in the production mm. and the joy for me has always been that I have um, two, I think two companies now mm. who went through our training and after oh, that's school nice. yeah, they set up their, their own their shoe companies okay then look out for me shoemaker KKB <laughs> <laughs> I'm, coming, I'm coming your way okay so um, I mean we, are, we, we should be wrapping up any minute now though uh, what will be your um, plea to government? You've spoken about the deliberate nature of how certain things must be done, of course, but what will be your plea to government in order to have businesses such as yours to actually not just survive, but transcend borders? Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, so um, when governments want to help companies, it is not necessarily putting money in their pockets. Mm -hmm. One, access to market. Mm -hmm. When government says um, we are sewing uniform for the service, mm. tailors or clothing companies come, let's build you guys up. So go into hundred thousand. Let, let's spread it across. What this is another way of capitalizing the business. That's what China has done. Exactly, and they've done so, it so well. That is the deliberateness, mm. you know. So access to market is one. Um, when government delegation 
is traveling. I don't be, well. I don't know who the they they travel with, but you can pick these young some of these right. young entrepreneurs right. Right. and go and give them the exposure. Mm. Let them go and see what is being. They do some do, but okay. they usually go with the big entrepreneurs. Exactly. Right. So this is also part of the deliberateness, you know. So, um, Chen Chen Hine, I always say they know these guys are well educated, Ivy League schools, conferences from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe, they are well exposed. But you never know, maybe that's advice so, you are so, giving, yeah, maybe so, one yeah, well, so we to. hope that um, um, these things will happen, even not, even not, not necessarily for me, Tony, or for Horseman Shoes, but we need a thriving ecosystem. Mm -hmm. the, I mean, the joy when we see a Ghanaian company flourishing and mm. now I become so conscious that when I'm buying a product mm. or a service from a well-established company, mm -hmm. I find a way to ask, um, is it a Ghanaian company? Mm. There are some businesses that are doing so well and I, I was so heartbroken when I realized that it wasn't a Ghanaian mm. company. And this is not to say I am being, you know, no, I'm just, I just want to know Ghanaian businesses that are doing well. Mm. I mean, there's a joy in it, you know. And um, I have also come to realize that there are even businesses that have become an extension of a brand extension of some countries. Mm. You hear some brands. Yeah, Alibaba, for instance. China. Exactly. You hear Toyota is Japan. Japan. Yeah. You hear BMW, Mercedes is Germany. Germany. Yeah. Why don't we build such business brands? Hosman is Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, let yeah. me tell you this. I went to Lomé in two thousand and nine, mm. and um, our host asked the son to go and get us a drink. We were going to have dinner. I decided to walk with him to the shop. So when he was pointing at Alumu, he was telling the shop guy that he wanted Alumu. Then I laughed. They said, oh, then he was telling me, no, why am I laughing? It's a good drink. I said, oh, I know Alumu very well. <laughs> so for, for me, it was the pride, yeah, you know, yeah. that uh, Alumu is sitting on a shelf mm. in Lume. Mm -hmm. And a Togolese is telling me a Ghanaian that uh, it's, a, it's, it's a good drink. It's a good drink, mm. you know. So we, 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 want, we want that, that, that feeling. Mm. When you travel around, you see Ghana made products, you know. Next five years, where do you see Osman? Next five years, um, next five years, um, African trade have taken full force. So we want to have after, food. after, yes, we want. Is it, to... is it, is it, I'm not really feeling the impact. I'm not, well, we all are not feeling the impact. We only right. read about it in the news, but I think that you have to, <laughs> you have to insert yourself in there. Maybe we also have to be deliberate, <laughs> yeah, deliberately insert yourself in there, right? So, in the next five years, um, so last five years, I said that I want we want Horseman to be um, a household name. I mm. think that we are on track and, mm. um. For me, I'm not just building, I, I'm not just making shoes. I want to build a sustainable business, right. you know, a business that will transcend Tony Senaya. And one, one of our values is legacy. Right. By legacy, we mean to build a very sustainable business. So in mm. the next five years, we will still be in existence and, um, and um, have foothold on the African, African, African continent. Would you perhaps diversify a bit? Maybe go into belt making, well, or bracelets, we, we, or yes, you know? we, we have started. We have started. We are not making noise about it because we are still at the ground level. So we want to test the idea and mm. also test our production and processes. Add so, me to your beta system. Okay. <laughs> so we will do belts. We will right. do wallets. Um, I don't have my wallet here. We will do phone case. I ah yeah, that's a good yeah, one. Phone case. Um, Passport cover. This, this is a hip flask oh, okay. that we wrapped with leather, so we can ah. customize and write your name. But do you drink? Do you drink whiskey? I I, I do drink whiskey every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> I, I, I don't like it so much okay. though. And then we have these um, bookmarks. So okay. I mean, so these are custes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this says um, surprise your liver. Drink mm. water today. You know. So you are so you are looking at diversifying. Yes, this this big, you know. Uh, yes. So coasters, uh, belts, um, uh, wallets, leather, phone cases, leather, leather book covers, book covers. Yeah. So there's a lot we can do with leather, wow. and um, I think other leather product manufacturers are doing that on a small scale. Mm. So yeah. So the market is very um, diverse and very limitless. So yes, Horseman will get into that space and. Um, we are even rebranding to change from horseman shoes to just horseman so that it's become a generic fashion right, brand. Right, 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 right. So don't be surprised if you see horseman wristwatches, horseman shirts, mm. you know. Horseman haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. But uh, do you have the needed support, the needed funding partnerships to make this happen in the next five years? Well, um, we are still looking. Mm. We are still looking, but... Um, we so again, you are still open to open, partnerships? Yes, we are still open to partnerships, okay. but... Um, Fortunately, we have, on, in terms of um, the skill and the talents, 
we have people we are working with uh, rebranding hoping okay. that when the breakthrough come their sweat their sweat will be rewarded right right i see okay so you heard from him horseman uh, well no longer horseman shoes horseman uh, tony senaya suggesting that uh, much as they've made a lot of strides they're even looking to diversify and even do a lot more uh, if you are keen on such partnerships like he said from coasters to um race watches to uh, what I've forgotten some of them do belts, Quite a lot. belts and the like leather, phone cases leather bracelets. leather bracelets and all they are open to all of these partnerships so if you're watching and you're keen on such a thing whether here in Ghana outside the country I know um, the statistics suggest that quite a number of you watch us from outside the jurisdiction of Ghana so we are grateful that you watch us and so this is a very good business opportunity if you're keen on it why not uh, you can reach out to him and uh, also get involved in the democratization of domestication <laughs> <laughs> you know but yeah um the show has been brought to you by first national bank though in partnership with mtn business i keep telling you that if you're not on mtn business if you're a startup company and you're not on mtn then you're missing out really because there's a lot you are going to benefit from once you sign up to the MTN SME Plus bundle. It's a, it's a fantastic opportunity for you to cut costs, maximize uh, a lot from the very little that you put into uh, your business. Um, with SME Plus, you get to manage all your operational costs in communication. Now, it starts off with the service allowing you to choose from affordable packages. You enjoy talk time, SMS, and business content all bundled into one subscription. The other exciting news is that you get free on-net calls every Monday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Remember, every Monday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., every call you need to make on MTN is absolutely free. What more do you want? All you have to do is to simply dial star 5060 hash to sign up today. Or you can also WhatsApp or call the number 0244308111 for more information. And stay connected everywhere you go. Now, First National Bank is um, the bank of the changeables. They say that all you have to do is to join them now. Do a switch and you have a lot of amazing opportunities for your young startup company. One of such benefits is the fact that you get fee-free banking for three months and it's happening from now up until September of 2022. So again, what more do you want? Bank with the bank of the changeables. That's First National Bank. All you have to do is to visit any of their branches in Accra, Kumasi or Takrade or take this number, uh, 0242 435 -050. 435050 and uh, what they'll do is that they'll send one of their friendly business bankers to you to start the switch process first national bank how can we help you and over here um, I'm hopeful that I managed to help you in a way to understand a bit more while appreciating the story of Tony Senaya, Chief Executive Officer for Horseman, as he now tells us, no longer just Horseman shoes. So think beyond the shoes when you think Horseman. My name is Kobna Chenche Haini Boating. Many thanks for staying with us on the business edition of 21 Minutes with KKB. I'll see you soon, hopefully, with another guest you're expecting. The business edition of 21 Minutes with KKB was proudly brought to you by MTN Business Broadband. First National Bank, Bank of the Changeables. The Makers Electronics Company Limited, large and in charge, with quality but affordable home appliances and consumer electronics. Designed for the driven.